Hello and welcome to Yumina the Eternal. It's Sunday uh, in the game. I don't know if it's. Is the episode going on a Sunday? Now I'm curious. Let's see. Uh, wrong folder. Maybe it does go on Sunday. Hmm. No, it does not. It's going on Friday, so close enough, right? Anyway. A, and there's a break in the campaign. Cool. This day marks the halfway point for for our current campaign uh, before the final final with the technically ex student council president because I mean the title was taken away from her, right? Anyway, after this it will be the second half, the last spurt. We'll need all our energy if we're going to win. I understand that. However, <sighs> having to work on a day for, off is still the pits. But you didn't have to call me. You could have asked I or Naoto. I wanted to spend my day with Kirara. I really don't think I is working on her own. The two of us are making preparations for the reminder of the campaign today. For we are technically prohibited from campaigning today. There is no problem so long as we don't hold any speeches or anything alike. So, where are we going? I hope Kirara is there. What about the library? We need more material than what we have in the club room. I mean, technically, between the two, we are the brains here in this cooperation. So, something is not prop correct here, right? Fine. And I will not come back. <laughs> It's fine that she's in a hot fighting mood and all, but she didn't have to involve me. I'd like to get this over with as soon as possible. I realize that the voice is talking to us. There's a man standing in the corridor. He's not a student, of course, but he also doesn't look like a teacher. So who is he? Hmm. <clears throat> When the man sees Yumina, his eyes widen, but it, also, it lasts only a moment. He makes an apologetic face right away. There's nothing out of the ordinary about him, as far as I can see. Good luck, man. Yumina, you've gotten lost in the school yourself before. Let me guess, it happens today. Fine, I'll come along too then. If I let you do it alone, who knows what might happen. You don't even know where we're going, but... You and the newcomers start walking. Something about that guy bugged me. I don't know what it is. There's a vibe I get from him. Somehow I can't relax around him. Hmm, sorry. I quickly follow them. The man is looking at me in silence. His eyes seem cold for some reason. I'm sure I haven't met him before. Not here, not nor anywhere else. No, it's in the opposite direction. Human is being as airheaded as usual. She continues to walk, as does the men. 
but I still feel that strange sensation from him. I had to correct Yumina a couple of times when she made mistakes, but we arrived at the principal's office in a reasonable time. I don't know if the man's parting greeting was appropriate or not, but he didn't seem to think much of it. He disappears into the principal's office. Well, we should be going too. We have a good reason to same, so I think it should be okay. Yuna's strong point is her kind nature. Is it fall? So even if Kira gives her an abuse about it, I will defend her. Will I fall? But that man still bothers me. What was that thing I had back there? Ah, uh, well, I don't suppose it's got anything to do with us anyway. Nothing, nothing. I start working, trying to shave the bad feeling I have. I have work to take care of right now. And so we walk off in the direction of the old school building. What are they talking about? But why? Why do you have an expectations out of you? What? I think he already did something, to be honest. He seems like the type to do something. His doubts. He's definitely done something. Hmm. So you wasted our time, you punk. How dare you? You wasted my weekend. I could have spent it with Kirara, goddammit. But no, show me the route even though I know it, you piece of shit. God damn it. Episode 35? Yeah. What an ass. We'll go Rodiomen, that's for sure. Oh, also a hint from Ray. Uh, at first, let's check out if there is anything new in the dungeon. I kind of wish there isn't because I don't feel like doing it. Please tell me you don't have any quest. Please tell me you don't have any. You don't have any quest. Hell yeah. I'm so glad. Which means we have to go to here. Okay, Rodio or the hint. I feel like going Rodio. Let's go to the library. The library. I've come here carrying some things for my studies. I should actually be campaigning right now, but there is an assignment I have to finish before every girl, so I got Kira's permission to come here. <sighs> I get the feeling there's a lot of homework at this school. Ah, well, it's a special period, so it can be helped. Classes have been largely suspended, and most students have the afternoons to themselves. The teachers must have, the teachers must have arranged it, so they will at least spend their time studying. 
but then I don't see why I would also get the assignments seeing how I'm supposed to be campaigning. What is the meaning of all of this? No use crying over sp uh, spilled milk. I look around the library in search for a suitable place to sit down. Then I notice the presence of someone I hadn't expected to find here. It's Kagura Nayuta, our opponent in the final round. Oh no, oh no, I got to run for... What's the point in that? My job is to find her weakness. My orders from Kiran are stand. I could just ignore them when I'm off duty, but I already know that Nayuta isn't dangerous to be around. I make my mind and approach her table. Um, can I sit here? Akashima Ayumu. Well, I guess we are enemies. But we are not campaigning right now. We are studying. I can go elsewhere if you want me to for. Of course I want. I mean, I came here to study myself as well as that, maybe. I sit down opposite from her, making small talk. Then I learned my study material and heave a sigh as I reconfirm the subject matter. <sighs> what you doing, Nayuta? I guess so sorry. Nayuta has a notebook in front of her, as well as a number of printouts. There is also a thick Japanese English dictionary beside her. So, you've got an English assignment. I guess it's easy peasy for you. <laughs> well, my duties remain the same anyway. I've got to look for weakness. Hopeless for it, maybe. I guess so. You're in different class, alright. That much is clear when I compare you two. You mean, uh... At least it's passing grades. You know that much about us. Well, yeah, I don't want to deny it. Fine. You want me to stop wasting time chatting, I get it. I look down at my notes as per her suggestion. It's a classic assignment. <sighs> Involving many cryptic lines of text. I've got to write them in modern language. Oh, thank God we didn't have something like that. But there is no need to hurry this. If I did that, I would only get more things to do in the time I saved that way. I can take my time. I should make optimal use of the time I've been given taking frequent breaks. For example, right? <laughs> I'm kidding. After some time of staring at the glyphs, I've gotten rather tired. I look up. Now I still working on her assignment in the same manner as before. There are many lines in her notebook. Now, unlike Yumina, her handwriting is neat and tidy. She's giving off an air that makes it hard to approach her. But the fact is that I'm here, so it would be weird if we didn't talk at all. Plus, I'm here to find a weakness after all. Hey, Nayuta. <laughs> No, I'm okay. I'm making good enough progress. <sighs> you tried to hit. I can do it if I try, actually. Yes. Well, I suppose not. <laughs> I guess that makes sense coming from you. After all, she brought her results and then some. Huh? Uh, well, I just thought it was awkward to stay silent all the time. <laughs> I guess it's hard to have a normal conversation with her. We don't have much in common. I don't think I'll be able to complete my mission soon. Which means... 
we have to find her again. <laughs> hey, Nayuta. <laughs> again. After an appropriate interval, I try again. But she just glanced up at me, then looks back at her assignment. Sorry, I'll be quiet. <sighs> this is a strange feeling. Naruto's voice just now was sharper than before. Her expression was grown, stern too. It seems she's slightly annoyed. At first I thought it was because of my attitude, but that doesn't seem to be it. She flips through the pages of her dictionary and compares her various printouts. What do you not know? I might help. Then she mutters herself. She sounds quite upset. He's, uh, it's as if she's vexed that things aren't going as she wants them to. Is that? Okay, okay. I draw back from her unexpectedly emotional voice, then I look down her hands. Her pen has stopped, and one we print out from her assignment is lying next to it. In that case, you reign a force, she'd head, then me. Huh? <laughs> I guess our visits to the library always have to end up rather loudly. <laughs> huh? No, I didn't mean it like that. Shocked at and a sudden not burst, I quickly point to her printout. I was only translating, translating it to Japanese. It's a sentence you've just, you've been, you've just been write, uh, writing, reading. Yes. It's a rather free translation, but I think it covers the content pretty well. Uh, I was only trying to help. She doesn't like to be helped. She's still muttering complaints, but she sits back down. I think she's regained her composure. Then she starts looking over the printout. Hmm? I mean, your assignments translate a western script to Japanese, right? Those scripts are full of slang. It's Rodeo Man 2 from Michael Hawk. My old man loves uh, movies like that, so he often took me with him to the cinema. The director likes to put strange language into his movies. It's not too surprising that he wouldn't understand it out of context. I actually don't know what the teacher was thinking putting something like this in an assignment. Sometimes think that teachers in this academy have a few screws loose. Which is great. I mean, if they love what they're doing and, you know, have their own way of teaching, that's great. Anyway. Naruto, what's wrong? I realized Naruto is staring at me. <laughs> she told me to get back to my assignment early, but now her own hands have stopped. Mm, well, I'm not bad, I guess. Ah, uh, well, I mean, my old man had a lot of friends overseas, that's how I picked it up. Hmm? Yeah, he used to say that to live in this world, one should know a foreign language or two. So he used to make me watch movies that weren't only without dubs. They didn't even have subtitles at first. I had no idea what anyone was saying. That's the best way to learn, to be fair. A foreign language here. But I picked it up along the way, and I gradually got to enjoy the content. It was pretty hard at first, but then I figured out what all the gestures meant, and from there I learned to understand the sentences. Eventually I started laughing at the jokes in the movies, at the same time as my old man, and that made me happy. Hmm? Hmm. 
no, 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 that's not right. I have a lot of me more bad memories of him, actually. And Elena seems to be pondering something. There's a thoughtful expression on her face. Maybe she's not liking what I said, or maybe she's thinking about something else entirely. Since I don't know too much about her, there's no way for me to read that expression on her face. Could be that she has no memories, like good or bad, or you know. Anyway, Nauta. Is it weird that I like her actually? Nauta currently dismisses, dismisses my inquiry and concentrates on her assignment again. She resumes taking notes as if the other things that just now never happened. I can bring myself to interrupt her again. Damn, I thought something might still have happened there. No, no, maybe. Okay, let's go to Ray. I promise to go to Ray, so we'll check out what's going on. Today I got a message from Ray. So I'm heading to the gym with Yumina oh, again in tow, hoping to get some information about Nauta as we agreed. For I could just have gone by myself if this was only about her weakness. Ray apparently also wanted to talk to Yumina. Ray, we're here. I mean, it was a debate. What do you mean? Yeah, she you mean I shut up? Why don't you just listen to what he has to say? Even he's getting upset, but I admonish her. By the way, I have no idea what Ray is trying to say there. Yeah, let's listen to him. Mm hmm. That's why you should be worried about that. Because apparently you don't get a clue. Wait, wait, wait. People always tell you to get a clue because you don't have one. <sighs> hey, what am I? A translator into Yuminese? <laughs> A strange feeling. Should we go to the dungeon? <laughs> Wait a minute. Something doesn't add up. Strong she may be, but uh, I just don't believe you would cave like that for that reason alone. You're not the type of guy to get scared just because someone is a little stronger than you, right? If this was about anyone else, I'd be able to understand why they'd wed with her like that. But this is Hinomi Ray. He's a guy who makes others shrink back. He wouldn't break down so easily. You fought. Hmm. おかしいだろ。
無理やりそう思わせられる感じか。いっそ、ナイス。催眠術か何かで、最初から操られていたって考えた方が、まだマシだぜ。Or maybe it's just the fact that she's very good at syncing with the system? Could be that. And that gives a huge advantage. Uh, maybe if she didn't achieve it through the power of her words. I mean, given how dumb you are, maybe it wouldn't work on you. <laughs> maybe, if I don't know exactly when it would happen. Yes, give up right now. Sounds like a great idea. That's true, it might be harsh to say this to Yumina's face, but so long as you feel strong enough about your ideals in the debate battle. Tapo. Yumina is clearly being pressured by her own mental image of Naita. But that's to be expected. どういう完璧人間なのよ。ああ。別に脅すつもりじゃねえよ。負けた俺だからこそわかる。前評判をひっくり返すことにかけては間違いなく緑下が一番だ。ブレスデダンジオン。そうなの。毎回そうだっただろ
right now. How dare you, basically. <laughs> Should I go fruitless for no. Let's check out parents in the library. <laughs> Again in the library. It will be loud. <laughs> Wait, this is not library. The cafeteria of Jinbu Academy is pretty busy again today. It's already the last campaign round in the preparation for the final debate, but in here there is no pre-battle tension. Of course, things have calmed down a little since the start, when there were campaigning candidates all over the place. But the last remaining match between Yumina and Nagata, everyone here knows what impact they both have. One of them will be the next student council president, the reality of that has sunk in. And amidst all of that, I... <sighs> Today's ramen is pretty tasty. I take my sweet time sampling my ramen. I'm totally relaxed. Because I had to deal with some errors in the paperwork. I got to have the lunch a little late. When I get back there, will be more work waiting for me. But right now I want to enjoy my meal at my leisure. My intention was to put the troubles of the election aside for a moment, but... Huh? Nayuta! There is a group of students by the counter. I spot a blonde girl among them, which draws my attention. I've encountered her several times in the context of the campaign, but I've rarely seen her go about her normal life like this. I mean, we've seen her, you know, when he had to save the cat. And it was a goddamn cute CG. However, Nayuta eats her meals in the cafeteria like everyone else. That's unexpected. She's a student just like us, so it's not too strange that she would make use of this place. But she's in a class all to herself, so I somehow expect her to live a different life than the rest of us. I think I'm not the only one who thought like that. Some of the students speak to her, others are surprised to see her here. She's getting special treatment, that's for sure. I eat my soup as I watch her maneuver through the crowd. After some time, Nayuta picks up her tray from the counter and walks to the tables. But she doesn't sit down at one of the free ones. She scans the cafeteria looking for something. Maybe she's mini meeting someone here. Or maybe she's going to talk to someone. In that case, I should go uh, do a background check. If check. A background check on whoever it is. Being a member of the debate club. Nayuta finally finds what she's looking for and comes this way. What? Eh. Eh, when she talks to me, my thoughts freeze for a moment. She approached me out of nowhere. I'm not the only one who's surprised at that. There is a buzz of voices all around us. But nobody's as shocked as me. I never thought she'd come to talk to me. Eh, uh, sure, sure, I don't mind. Nayuta sets her tray down the table and takes the seat across from me. She has pepperoncino pasta and a ham salad, it seems like. She likes the western food. It's a big contrast with me, since I find happiness in a plain bowl of salted ramen. Wait, that has nothing to do with anything. What are you doing here, Nayuta? Mm, not what I mean. Why did you come to my table? <laughs> but you never did this before. <laughs> yeah? That's not what I'm after. I'm just surprised, that's all. <laughs> I guess so. Yeah, but I'm under orders from the chief. That's different. Do you want the entire list? <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, my old man. Why would you want to know about him? Ah, uh, I see. You're trying to get into... I see, I see. You're after me. 
I'm completely confused. Why did she bring that up all of a sudden? It occurs to me that maybe she might know something about my father and is trying to find out more. But judging from her expression, that seems unlikely. All signs indicate that she's just curious, nothing more. I did mention my old man where we talk in the library, so I guess there is no deep meaning to it. So, there is no real need for me to pay attention to the whispers around us. Fine. I'll answer your questions. What do you want to know? Mm. Fair bad memories, I'd rather not think about them. Fine, simply put, he was strict. I mean, we are talking about him, right? Yeah, he put me through the hard training like these were the Middle Ages or, uh, or something. That's the only way I can describe it. No, it wasn't that kind of training. It didn't have uh, much to do with common sense. He trained me in hand to, hand to combat as if I was in the army or something and he put me through survival training and he made me become one with the nature. Sometimes when I thought he was taking me on a trip on the day off, it turned out to be survival training or a special course of breaking planks at the Karate Dojo. Sometimes I had to provide my own food. If I didn't grow enough food in our private garden, I'd be the only one going hungry. Worse, that way of teaching was something he invented on his own. There was no theory behind it, it was just drilling. Yeah. Of course that wasn't all. I tell Naruto about all the other things my old man used to do. Naruto listens somewhat taken back at my candor on the subject. But to me it's just an enumeration of the facts, nothing more. Why he takes it easy? Probably, yeah. Mmm, I can't say that it isn't. My old man half succeeded and half failed, I guess. As it stands, I possess several skills I have no use for in everyday life and a tendency to avoid effort. Hmm? Hmm. You think I'm happy about it? Hmm. It's true that I'm here living a normal life. My past hasn't corrupted me. As for a reason... I mean, I guess it wasn't all bad, mind you. My old man was strict, but he wasn't a villain or anything. He would praise me if I did something right. Like with the movies, once I learned to understand them, watching them was pretty fun. I don't think it was all nice, but it wasn't all bad either. That's how I feel about it. Weird. <laughs> you think so? Am I that strange? Uh, well, yeah, that's true. But this is the present. Now is taking this very seriously, but I interrupt her. In the end, I'm living a carefree, average school life. I came here to on my old man's orders, but the reason why I relax at, and eat my ramen here, like this, because I want to, so that's fine. My days are peaceful. What's the point in bringing up problems from the past? To tell you the truth, I would prefer not to be involved in this troublesome election in the first place. Yeah, for I don't have my old man to worry about anymore. I have another demon breathing down my neck, which goes by the name of Kurokawa Kirara. That's not something I can do anything about. This hardship won't last forever, so I can hang in there until it ends. Hmm? Naruto suddenly mumbles something. I mean, I guess there is a similarity here, right? I mean, given she was 
kind of forced to become the student council president and so on, like forced to follow that route, right? But she can break out of it. Anyway, I don't think she was talking to me in particular, she's not looking at me, rather seems to be lost in thought. I wonder what's going on inside of her head. I'm about to ask her, but then... My cell phone starts ringing. Ah, oh, the chief is calling, I've got to be going! Don't worry. Nah, it's fine, there's no way she'll get angry when I tell her I've been talking to you. It's my job after all. Ow, oh, that hurt. Yeah, that works for me. I'm not doing this against my will anyway. Well then, see ya! I pick up my tray and stand up. Nagata regards me with her usual composed expression. For a moment, a cloud passes over her face. I don't know what the meaning... What meaning there is to it. And so on. Anyway, time to end the episode. Uh, we'll of course continue tomorrow. Hope you guys enjoyed and hope you have a wonderful day. Also, sorry I'm not recording more, but uh, yeah, now it's kind of not possible. And the fact that I'm still able to record one episode per day is a good thing. Uh, anyway, I should talk about it in a video, in a separate video. Yeah. I probably will someday when I find time. Anyway, uh, have a wonderful day and I'll see you tomorrow.